Don't be a little fool, Frida, she said. I expect Mrs. Norton's ordered the groceries. You take off your hat and coat, and I'll make hot coffee. We'll all feel better then. A hasty inspection of the supply closet revealed no groceries, however. There was an empty ca coffee can and the heel of a loaf of bread. In the refrigerator were a couple of eggs, a partly used jar of marmalade, and a few slices of bacon on, on a plate. <clears throat> Maggie's face was grim. She looked up at the eight-day kitchen clock, which was still going. If that lazy George Smith's here, we can send him, him into town, she said. Go out and see if you can find him, Nora. He's the gardener, or he says he is. She ordered Frida to the cellar for coal, and under protest, Frida went. Carol sat down on a kitchen chair while Maggie looked at her with concern. You're too young to have all this wished on you, she said, with the familiarity of her twenty years of service. Don't take it too hard. Somebody's sick at Lucy's, most likely. I don't know why your mother got this idea anyhow. Miss, Mr. Gregg won't come. He's got only thirty days, and he'll, and he, probably he'll want to get married. It's a pity, she added grimly that you and Mr. Don didn't get married before he left. Because Carol was tired and worried, tears came into her eyes. She brushed them away impatiently. That's all over, Maggie, she said. We have to carry on. Then Frida came back, gingerly carrying a, part, a pail partly filled with coal, and Maggie started to light a fire. The odor, whatever it was, was not strong here, but when Maggie poured a little kerosene onto the coals and dropped a match into it, Carol realized the odor was, was much the same. Perhaps Lucy had started the furnace fire that way. Nora came back, shivering from the grounds. I don't see anybody, she reported. The grass has been cut here and there, but there's nobody out there. She huddled by the stove, and Carol, Carol got up abruptly. Something's happened to Lucy, she said. Take over, Maggie, and get started. I'll go down to the village and find out what's wrong. I'll order some groceries, too. The Miller Market will be open now. One of the girls can do it, Maggie objected. But Carol refused. She was worried about Lucy. Also, she knew what was needed and how to find it. And, although she did not say it, she wanted to get out of the house. Always before when she came, it had been warm and welcoming. welcoming. <clears throat> but this day, it was different. It felt, she thought shiveringly, like a tomb.